Okay, uh, Will, so this is me now. I'm going to give you a quick demo to get your stuff set up from what you've given me. I'm presuming because you put from 18 from March, the first one you put in, um, what we'll do, we're, we'll just go from 18 from March and we're pumping a load of stuff. So, um, yeah, one other thing, this internet's a bit crap, so I might have to uh, join a few videos together, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, so what we've got, yeah, I'm on account now. Will Chump, this is you as a person. You know, if, if, when you feel Will Chump as a member, it shows that, you, you know, you've probably seen you're in... Will Chump, uh, South Sea Mafia as a promoter. I've also made you a DJ profile because um, whenever you do your gigs, you can pump yourself in on all the events as a DJ and it will uh, show you on all the events and all the listings and stuff like that. So, you know, I guess you're quite important to the event. So, um, when you want to edit all these, quite straightforward, just click each one, work your way down all of this stuff here. As soon as you uh, start filling up, this, this little bar here comes up and uh, it will fill up, you know, so it's quite straightforward. You do that for all of those. Um, yeah, you've already started on the uh, promotions one. Let's go back again. And one thing I noticed what you did in here, where did you put your videos in? Let's have a look. See here, 491, yeah? If we make all these 491, everything will fit. Perfect. Do that. Just save that. Okay. So you've done pretty well. You fill all the stuff out, which is awesome. My dashboard. You know. So here is where you're going to get all your requests and messages. Now requests. Uh, when you get requests, what you'll do is um, you'll have three like options. You have three options for a band. You'll have one saying accept. Uh, that means. Um, if you accept the gig straight away, that means it's going to go on to uh, the venue's profile, the band's profile. It's going to go on to your profile, um, and all the gig listings start to form. Also, if they've got apps synced, it's going to start going on to all their apps as well, as we talked about on the phone. Um, if you get messages, it's just going to be like Facebook, pretty much. That's really easy and straightforward. You should understand that, no problem whatsoever. So, let's go to my gigs. So what you've done here, you've automatically set up one gig, which you've done, so you know the, the principle of setting one up. I wouldn't, um, I personally, I wouldn't put the uh, times in, because um, what, what you find is bands um, generally start applying for a particular time slot when you were actually probably going to shuffle everything around. Shuffle everything around. So what I'd do with all these, I'd put these all at to be confirmed, so then they don't know. It's, I mean, it's completely your... Uh, way if you don't want to do it but I mean this is the way um, you know I would do it personally so you, you know you've done everything great already you know you've already filled this stuff in event description that's what you can put um, um, which what you know stuff like what you can put on your Facebook events because once it's synced with the app whenever someone clicks on one of the gig links all this information will pop up okay so below here, um, what you've got, these lines here, blue, this means that people can apply for slots. If you don't want them to apply for slots, just click hide, and then they won't be able to see the slots. But obviously we want them to apply, so we'll leave it that. If you want to put extra slots in, click this button here, that will put an extra one in. Let's say you're DJing on this one, yeah? So let's put in uh, Will Jump. There you go. That's going to put you in as DJ, all right? Save that. Now, if we go back up the top, Go back to my gigs. You'll see now. If we click on this, this is what they start to view. So you've got your map. Everything's going to be there. And as you build the lineup up, this will all come in together. Let's go back again for a second. Now, in when you go back and edit details. Now, this area when you put the printable flyer on, this will override any picture that you put in. So what it will always do first, it will look for the first band for a picture. So if we don't load one up, it will have a picture of you DJing. That would be the one it would take as the first picture out of the lot. So um, if you have a cool picture which you have as a generic flyer, I suggest stick it in there. Or it could be a printable discount flyer because that will show up in um, on the uh, events that, um, which you saw when uh, we click on that link. So what we'll do, we'll go back to my gigs again. Now if you said that this is every week now, because you filled in all of your details like um, all your terms, conditions, um, you put all the right slots in, you've got your, um, 
you've got your title incorrect. So all you need to do now is hit clone, yeah? It's got 18, so you've got 18 for march down, so let's uh let's just stick the next one in. Um, so that'd be May. Oh no, miles ahead. April, March. 18, there you go. Sunday, hit submit. Hit clone again. First of April. Clone again. Okay. Scroll down a bit more. 15. I'll go to the end of April, then I'll let you do you know whatever you want really. 22nd. Second Sunday 29th. So now we've now we've claimed all them. Let's just hit the refresh button. There you go. Everything's there. Yeah. So it says five slots, but what we do, you know, obviously because you're you're DJing. I mean, if not, you just have to go into these and just delete yourself off off the uh, lineup. You know, it's easy just to pop yourself in on each one. Oh, let's go back. going on. Hang on. I'm getting the wrong thing here. There you go. Okay. So now we've got them all in. So when you log in, if any bands you've actually already got booked, you need to just quickly log in and fill all these in. Now, say for instance, um, let's go and put a band in so we can show you if they're not on the site. So let's say if you wanted to put in a band called Kismet, which I know is one of your Portsmouth based ones, what you do, you search for it. If it's in the system, it's going to pop up here. If you click that button, well, so I won't put that in now, but if you did, then what that will do, that will send a request off to Steve Baker and it will say, you know, um, Will Chump has listed you, do you agree? And um, what it will do, it will put it as unconfirmed, to confirmed, but it will still be listed anyway. Um, say for instance, uh, let's type in another one, so uh, let's try for a different band. Now, if, if it's going to search for the band called Kelm, if it's not there, and even though you've booked them, just click this button here, and what that will do, we'll add them in, and in here you can then put... Um, you can put the Facebook address, uh, MySpace, whatever you want. Obviously, because we don't know that band's playing, just cancel them off. If you hit delete, what you need to do is just make, if it says delete, just completely hit it again and it will remove it. Obviously, you want four slots, so let's just put one back on again. Hit submit, and we're back to square one again, yeah? Now, as you see, because um, we put your Will Chump on all of these, check out your Will Chump profile, yeah? You're starting to look a bit of a busy man. So it looks like you're doing loads of gigs now. Um, that will also be in the gig listings of you DJing. Um, if you've got a good mix in your SoundCloud, you know, stick that in there as well so it can show what people what you're doing. So what I'll do with your time in MV1, I'm going to go over and um, I won't obviously show you what I'm doing that now. It's, it's the same principle. You just set it up and uh, you pump in the gigs. And um, yeah, obviously because the video would be really long then. One thing as well, let's have a look in here. Now, if you see now, your drift gigs are going to be in here. I don't know how far we're going to have to go down before we start here in March. Probably quite a few pages. Let's go a few in. It's still February. Right, we might get it in here. No, it's still February. Still February. Next page. Okay. There we are, there we are. So fans are going to come in now and they're going to click that. Now when they click this link, what will do, your terms and conditions are going to pop up on the screen. And I text you as well saying, you know, like you know you said you must bring 20 minimum. I mean, is that 20 minimum to um, assume payment? Or um, 
Oh, actually, you just text me. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. To get to get payment. So what I suggest, I'd make that pretty clear in um, in your terms and conditions that um, if you bring 20 people, you will get payment. Otherwise, you don't. Because I think a lot of people probably won't apply for the gig if they feel like they have to bring 20 people. Just from experience with the London promoters. So uh, yeah, to change that in your terms and conditions, you have to obviously duplicate that and save that yourself. Um, yeah, so I'll get everything else set up for you. Another thing what you can see here is like, yeah, you know, like say from this gig here, no, the, the guy's not filling in what people are booking, so you probably find that no one's actually going to apply for it. So like the one above here, there's only one, you know, one space left, so people are going to be more inclined to apply for the gig that's only got one space left. So if you if you don't keep things up to date, people are going to think your night's not worth playing, and also you know it won't help the network progress because you could be when you type in a band's name if you have agreed to book the gig then uh, it will network and it will send off all the correct emails to everyone and then uh, yeah that's the way it should work you know so um, that's about what I'll do I'll, I'll get your other one um, posted up in time and envy ones I've made all the profiles and stuff for that now and uh, yeah I'll email you this video over all right well good to have you on board and uh, yeah thanks very much and uh, anything you need you just call me yeah cool